Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 8. Then spoke Elisha unto the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise, and go you, and eth your household, and sojourn wheresoever you can sojourn. For Yahuwah has called for a famine, and it shall also come upon the land seven years. And the woman arose and did after the saying of the man of Elohim. And she went with her household and sojourned in the land of the Pelishtim seven years. And it came to pass at the seven years end that the woman returned out of the land of the Pelishtim. And she went forth to cry unto the king for her house and for her land. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of Elohim, saying, Tell me, I pray you, eth all the great things that Elisha has done. And it came to pass, as he was telling the king, eth how he had restored a dead body to life, that, behold, the woman, eth whose son he had restored to life, cried to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, My lord, O king, this is the woman, and this is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. And when the king asked the woman, she told him, And the king appointed unto her a certain officer, saying, Restore eth all that was hers, and eth all the fruits of the field, since the day that she left, eth the land even until now. And Elisha came to Damascus, and Ben-Hadad, the king of Aram, was sick. And it was told him, saying, The man of Elohim is come hither. And the king said unto Hazael, Take a present in your hand, and go, meet the man of Elohim, and inquire at Yahuwah by him, saying, Shall I recover of this disease? So Chazel went to meet him, and took a present with him, even of every good thing of Damascus, forty camels' burden, and came and stood before him, and said, Your son Bain Hadad, king of Aram, has sent me to you, saying, Shall I recover of this disease? And Elisha said unto him, Go, say unto him, you may certainly recover. Howbeit, Yahuwah has showed me that he shall surely die. And he settled eth his countenance steadfastly until he was ashamed, and the man of Elohim wept. And Chazael said, Why does my Lord weep? And he answered, because I know at the evil that you will do unto the children of Yashadael. Their strongholds will you set on fire, and their young men will you slay with the sword, and will dash their children, and rip up their women with child. And Chazael said, But what? Is your servant a dog, that he should do this great thing? And Elisha answered, Yahuwah has showed me that you shall be king over Aram. So he departed from Elisha and came to his master, who said to him, What said Elisha to you? And he answered, He told me that you should surely recover. And it came to pass on the morrow that he took a thick cloth and dipped it in water and spread it on his face, so that he died. And Chazael reigned in his stead. And in the fifth year of Yaram, the son of Achav, king of Yashadael, Yahushaphat, being then king of Yahuda, Yahuram, the son of Yahushaphat, king of Yahuda, began to reign. 
Thirty and two years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Yerushalayim. And he walked in the way of the kings of Yashadael, as did the house of Achav, for the daughter of Achav was his woman. And he did evil in the sight of Yahuwah. Yet Yahuwah would not destroy Eth Yahuda for David his servant's sake, as he promised him to give him always a light and to his children. In his days, Edom revolted from under the hand of Yahuda and made a king over themselves. So Yoram went over to Sarir and all the chariots with him, and he rose by night and smote at the Edomim, which compassed of him about and at the captains of the chariots, and the people fled into their tents. Yet Edom revolted from under the hand of Yahudah unto this day. Then Livna revolted at the same time, and the rest of the acts of Yaram, and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer, of the chronicles of the kings of Yahuda, And Yoram slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David. And Ahazahu Yahu, rather, Ahaz Yahu, his son, reigned in his stead. In the twelfth year of Yoram, the son of Ahi, Ahav, King of Yashadael, did Ahaz Yahu, the son of Yahuram, king of Yahuda, begin to reign. Two and twenty years old was Ahaz Yahu when he began to reign, and he reigned one year in Yerushalayim, and his mother's name was Athal Yahu, the daughter of Omri, king of Yashadael. And he walked in the way of the house of Ahav, and did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, as did the house of Ahav, for he was the son-in-law of the house of Ahav. And he went with Eth Yoram, the son of Ahav, to the war against Chazael, king of Aram in Remoth, Gilad. And the Aramim wounded at Yoram, and king Yoram went back to be healed in Yisrael of the wounds which the Aramim had given him at Ramah. When he fought against at Chazael, king of Aram, and Ahaz Yahu, the son of Yahram, king of Yahuda, went down to see at Yoram, the son of Ahav, in Yisrael, because he was sick. <laughs>